Germination usually begins when the embryo is exposed to water. The water swells the embryo inside, bursting the seed coat and setting growth into motion. During the earliest phase of growth, when the embryo has no leaves and therefore no means of making its own food through the process of photosynthesis, the seed itself becomes the food source. It serves the same function as the yolk in a bird egg, providing high energy food for the developing embryo. The root is the first structure to emerge from the seed during germination. It penetrates the soil very rapidly, forming a slender, usually unbranched root, which in some plants may penetrate several feet into the soil during the first few weeks of growth. The seed continues to supply the food for the developing embryo. After the roots have started growing downwards, the stem and the leaves start growing upwards. These leaves open within a few days after the plant emerges from the soil and begins photosynthesizing almost immediately to provide the growing seedling with its new and renewable food source. Atropism is a biological phenomenon indicating growth or turning movement of a biological organism, usually a plant, in response to an environmental stimulus. In tropisms, this response is dependent on the direction of the species. The word tropism comes from the Greek trope, no turn or to change. Tropisms are usually named for the stimulus involved and may either be positive moving towards a stimulus or negative, moving away from the stimulus. Phototropism is the growth response of a plant in response to light direction. Different parts of a plant exhibit different reactions to light. Stems exhibit positive phototropism, while most roots exhibit negative phototropism. Geotropism is the growth response of a plant in response to gravity. Roots exhibit positive geotropism, they grow downwards, while stems and leaves exhibit negative geotropism, they go, grow upwards.